Ooh, strange new world. The USS Gag Gagarin? Gagin? Gagarin? Shuttle launches and soon enters the atmosphere of Wheaton 2. Yep, we're going straight into Wheaton. Um, so, our captain leading expedition alongside the ship's science officer. They're sent over a vast, over vast stretch of grassland serves to confirm readings from orbit that Wheaton 2 is an M-class world ripe for colonization. Touching down near the forest, uh, there's a range of outcroppings and a survey. Hails the captain, advising of a minor technical fault that has been discovered in the sensor array. I'm requesting a return of the science officer to supervise the repairs. So, do we send our science officer back? Or should we send our captain back? Um, well, the captain won't help with any repairs, will they? So, we may as well send the science officer back. Okay. That's probably going to bite me in the ass. Hours after the science officer departed, Wheaton 2 for the USS Gargreen, the remaining survey team has started to make progress. The world appears to be perfectly habitable, though tricoders have struggled to analyse the composition of a pollen compound in the area. And so the winds pick up and they go into caves. And then communication is prevented. The storm seems to last, however, forever, and the team starts to become increasingly agitated. The botanical specialist is seen talking to herself, and while questioned, seems to panic, running further into the unexplored cave network. So should we search the caves immediately, or wait until the storm dies down? Hmm. Sure, let's search immediately. That's probably going to bite me in the ass again. This is several hours before the botanist has found her body mangled. Oh. It appears that she fell to her death, not seeing the hold, hold head up. Great. Um, I went breaks out among the survey team, some blaming the captain, the others taking talking of whispers and shadows in the caves themselves. Hell, and they get transported back. Ah, oh, what? I don't even have influence to spare. Shit. Okay. Um... More and more of the team appears to be acting erratically, and a number of physical alterations have come to break out. So the captain and the security officer are the only two unaffected. It's quickly apparent that the pollen is covered and landing is contagious. A cybertrack effect with the captain and the security officers are immune, somehow. You know, such a coincidence. And these sort of, uh, these shows, aren't they? Um, so, return via shuttle or transporter are both ruled out to prevent endangering the USS. Um, okay, so, we can either send a team or it's too risk. Well, we can't leave anybody behind. This is Starfleet, and nobody gets left behind, not even if they're infected by psychotropic drugs. So we send a team. What? Oh, fuck sake. <laughs> um, a curious quickly since, oh no, okay, we did well, okay, this is fine. We we'll somehow keep losing influence. I don't know why. Um, so, oh, the sedated crew, sedated crew starts worse than, and may be fatal. So, captures one of the large flying insects that appear to be connected with the flowers, and a cure is quickly synthesised and distributed to the affected crew. But while they may recover, for most it's too late, and the um, corded as. No, I can't even fucking say that word. It's habitable, um, but quite requirement to constantly against the pollen makes the plant poor target for colonization. Shit. What the fuck is it? Oh shit, we've got the Osgood. Nice, okay. Um, okay, so we were in the middle of um, looking at Cirrus. What's going on with Cirrus? Planet has like buildings to work in. Okay, so we we'll build you a 
Okay, we're doing alright with our production, really, aren't we? So let's just build another power plant. What's the transport hub do? Okay. Um, not really doing much moving about at the moment, are we? So that's not too much of an issue. So we'll build that. Um, additionally, we should probably build... Protects its own armies from orbital bombardment. We should probably have something like that, just in case. What does this do? Space weaponry. Yeah, so we do that, just so we have stuff like that for now. And we probably want something like that on Earth as well. Um, how's our food looking? Okay, we've got plus two. Probably want to build up this farm here, and then let's not do anything about the uh, garrison for the moment. We can think of that at some point later. Um, trading center, fleet limits, or bureaucracy. Uh, let's go with. Well, how's our fleet looking? Yeah, we got that out of 24 for the moment, so we're fine. So let's do a trading center. And we also should probably start to design some ships. I don't even know what these are. So... Oh, those are probably our science ships and stuff, aren't they? Maybe? I don't know, but obviously it's part of the update when it broke, yep, okay, great, so we just, oh we can't even, shit, okay, um, minefield, dry dock, light defense satellite, colony ship, um, so look at our destroyer. Which oh it's already there, isn't it? Okay. Um Oh. While medical needs for most species are unique, there is logic in pooling resources to aid research. So the doctors from across the United Federation of Planets, led by Hamilton, preferred forming an interspecies medical exchange to promote medical research. Um if funded it will be placed on permanent amendment to the interspecies medical exchange. Oh, so I'll lose a... yeah, okay. Well, we've got five... wow, we've got five thousand, okay. Yep, so we will go for that. Well, we must have lost our... Um, what we were doing. How do I this hole, really? Okay. Oh. The Cardassian human has to start to join the... Okay. Uh, we probably want to build us some... Um... Oh. So this is the medical exchange. And uh, that is Hamilton. How can we be of assistance today? Okay, so let's have a look at what it is. Um, program that allowed doctors from various species to volunteer to serve on alien worlds in order to further understanding of xenobiology. Alright. Oh, so we don't want to leave it. And I guess we will just exit. What is all this about? Okay. So we currently can't upgrade that. But what we do want to do... Oh, defences actually. Okay. Who's joined it? Ferengi. Great. Great, great. Um, okay, we're fine with that at the moment, I guess. So, oh, we can't build that. But we can build one. Uh, There's no point, really, then. No point. We need to up our building of... Um, minute rules, I think. So, with that in mind, where do we have minerals? 
I mean, we could build them on planets, can we? We can get our fabricators. A couple here. Okay, yeah, you can. We can build one on here. So we can build a mine or the fabricator. Okay. So let's just build a couple of these, I guess. Or can we only build one? We can only build one per planet, maybe. Oh, trading center. Cool. Okay. Um. And so I guess then here we'd have just some mines. I mean, there's nothing to stop us building them now, just so they're ready for later. Um. Cool. 